Hey, my name is Nick Rivers, and today I'm going to show you how to import a .pst file or a preset into GarageBand or MainStage for use in your projects. Important thing to note right away is what type of file do you have? There are .pst files, and there are also .patch files, and there's a different process for importing them based on what file type you have. If you don't know what file type you have, here's a quick way that you can figure it out. Okay, first things first, find your file that you downloaded. Mine is all the way down here. And I can see right there it says .pst, so that is the type of file it is. If yours, for whatever reason, doesn't say .pst or .patch or doesn't have anything there, right-click on it, hit Get Info, and then under Preview here, it'll show you either PST or patch or whatever type of file it is. If you do have a .patch file here instead of a .pst, there is a separate video for that, which I have linked in the description below. All right, now that that's settled, let's get right into it. We have to do a few things here before we can import our file just to make sure that everything is going to be working properly. Click Finder in the bottom left corner there. And then we're going to go Finder, Preferences. Click Sidebar up here. And then make sure that this Home icon here is checked. If it's unchecked like that, make sure it's checked. Awesome. Now that that is set up, we can begin our journey. All right, so open a Finder window. And then we're going to look for our preset file. Mine is right there. Keep that highlighted. Then once we've found that, we're going to click Finder again. Go to File, New Finder Window. And we're going to drag that one over here. Now on that New Finder Window we just created, we're going to click our Home icon. And then we're going to do Music, Audio Music Apps. Then Plugin Settings. And then we're going to find whatever plugin this preset is for. This one is for the Amp Designer. Um, if yours doesn't have the plugin name in the preset name, go back to where you downloaded it from and they should tell you what plugin that, that it's for. So this one's for Amp Designer, so I'll double click Amp Designer. And then I'll take my preset here and I'll just drag it over to that folder. Mine's already in there, so I'm not going to uh, drop it there. But Okay. Then we can close out of those, and we can open a new empty project in GarageBand. And then if we put that plugin on a channel, plugins here, um, there's an audio channel, plugins, click there. That was for Amp Designer. And now we'll notice that it is right there so that we can use it. That's all there is to it. I hope this video was super helpful. My name is Nick Rivers. I am a full-time musician, and I make content so that other musicians can make their music easier, better, and have more fun. Have a good one.